welcome to my channel. It is Day back with another video for y'all. And today I'm going to be doing a Sheen or Shein try on haul for accessories. So this first go around, I only did like purses and stuff like that, like sunglasses and accessories. And right now I have a bunch of clothes in my um, cart. And the next try on haul for Shein I do will be for clothes. So basically I've been seeing Shein everywhere or Shein, however you want to pronounce it, Shein, Shein, whatever. So yeah, I've been seeing it everywhere, like all over TikTok, Instagram, everywhere, because it's just like really cute clothes for a really low price. And I was scared and skeptical at first to like purchase from them, but you know, I keep seeing the trial hauls and everything is so cute. Everything is really affordable. So I was like, let me go ahead and try it out. So I bought a whole bunch of like accessories and we're gonna be doing a haul today. I'm super excited. Everything came and the next haul you guys see from Sheen will be clothes and I'm excited for that video as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I was in desperate need of like purses. I just feel like their purses are so cute. Yes, they're really cheap, but they're like colorful. And I just feel like you can like pop them on with any outfits, especially for the summer. That was my purpose when doing this haul, was just finding some purses that have like color and basically give your outfit a little bit of a pop for like your Instagram pictures or just going out in general. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. So this is the bag that it came in and obviously in the inside they have a bunch of other little bags so like all of these. Okay so first I'm going to do sunglasses. I only bought three pairs just to like start off with and then I was going to see like how I like these and then order more. So we're going to do sunglasses first. I'm really excited and they come in like cases which is really cool. Sheen does take a long time to deliver, but I'm a fan of um, AliExpress. I use AliExpress a lot, so it's like, it's not as bad as AliExpress because I'm used to AliExpress taking like a month or two to get your packages sometimes. So with that being said, it's hard to like tell what you even bought. Like, I don't remember what I even purchased because it's been so long since I ordered this stuff. First up, we have this pair of sunglasses. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's a really pretty blue color perfect for the summer and they're like square so i'm just gonna like put these on real quick yes yes okay yes ma'am absolutely giving them the blues okay i can see this pool side like if you're going to a pool party like this is so cute i would definitely like yes i'm wearing this you see me you see me i love these these are so cute and this is oh. And then you could do like the sunglasses on top of the head moment. Yes, it's it's really giving what it's supposed to give. And I think I only pay what, like $4 for these? I'm not sure. But like, yes, absolutely. And what I absolutely love is they give you like sunglasses cases. Like they give you a whole entire case for your sunglasses. And it comes with a little cloth to like wipe it. Like what? Okay, so now we have our next pair. It also comes with a case. All of the glasses come with cases. And the next pair is these really pretty like beige tan square glasses. I just thought this would be so cute for like statement, statement piece or whatever. And yes, you see that it's giving. I love it. They are a little big, like bigger than what I'm used to as far as sunglasses, but I really like them. You talking to me oh okay so next we have these super barbie pink shades and i'm in love i'm in love off rip because they're pink but like do you see me like barbie all day like yay this is definitely a um sunglasses on top of the head moment like that is so cute i love these literally i feel like I literally feel like these were on Barbies at some point. Like this is a pair of Barbies sunglasses and it's made for me, like period, period. And it's just crazy because I used to play with Barbies and now I am one, period. The sunglasses are done. Moving on, we're gonna go into the purses because I'm ready to see these purses. I can't take it no more. So this is the first one I actually put inside of my cart. I bought some shoes, literally, to match this. 
and I have an outfit in mind. Like I have an outfit and a look in mind just for this purse. So this was the first thing to go in my cart. So it's like an orange kind of like raunched type of purse. I feel like you gotta like space it out to make it look a little bit better. But yeah, it's like an orange raunch type of purse. It's just supposed to be like a little shoulder bag. And it's just supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Give, you know what I'm saying? Give look. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. You know, I don't, I don't lie over here, not over this way. So I do feel like Shane bags are on the cheaper side. Like it does feel cheap, like a cheap material. But for the pricing, you can't like expect to have really, really, really good quality, I would assume. So I feel like it's durable, obviously, like it's not gonna just fall apart. But if you can see on the inside, I just feel like, like, I don't know, the quality is not really like, it's just like, I don't know, like kind of like thrown together. I will say it does feel like a little cheap to me personally, but for the price that you pay, I just feel like you get what you give, you know what I'm saying? So. You can't expect super high quality when the bag was only nine dollars you know what i'm saying so i do think it's super cute for statement pieces for pictures a little moment i wouldn't like fill this purse up with heavy materials because like i just i don't know because you see how like how i can easily just like slide it i just feel like you shouldn't be able to do that but for nine dollars what do you expect and i think it's cute for the purpose of why i bought it so this is the first bag, the cute orange bag. So next we have the second bag and it is this bag. I love it already. So this is like a lime green color. It's so cute and it has like this chain detailing. And I just feel like it's such like a vibe, especially for like summer, such a vibe. And I didn't have a green purse. So I just felt like it was much needed to have a green purse. So. This is what it looks like. We're gonna unzip it, see what's, what the inside is like. Ooh, it comes with a strap. I absolutely love bags with straps because a lot of the times, you know, a lot of purses these days do this, but I like crossbody action. So it's always good to have a strap. And if you remove the paper, it's pretty much just enough for like your necessities, like phone, lip gloss, keys, um, ID, stuff like that. But yeah, I really thought this bag was really given. Like, this is a statement piece. Like, I really, really, really love this bag. Literally a 10 in my eyes. This is a 10, love it. And this one doesn't feel as cheap as the last one, but I mean, like, you know, you and I know on the down low that it was cheap, but affordable. Let me, let me not use the word cheap. It's affordable. I think I paid like 11 for this. And it's a statement piece and I love it. So next is this brown little number here. It's like a little shoulder bag. I don't wear purses like this, but I just felt like I needed it because brown is just so in and I do have a couple of outfits that I needed a brown bag for. So I really like this. And then it has this little chain on the inside and you just pop it out like that. And I love it. I love this. This is cute. It's also like a, um, is this like crocodile? like a crocodile pattern, sort of, but I just think it's so cute. It does look a little bit like um, shiny, I guess, but I just feel like you could pull it off. A little moment, you know what I'm saying? A moment. Yeah, this is cute. And it's really just this part that really sold me because like gold and brown, oh my gosh golden brown is just such a moment like i just love like golden brown together i don't know like it's just so cute so next is this little purse right here this is like a, a lavender type of color like mauve looking color and it has that crocodile texture as well this is a little um this is a little handbag but it also comes with a strap so that you can have a crossbody moment as well but yeah like this is super cute and i just feel like such a I don't feel like Barbie with this. I would feel like a Bratz doll with this, like definitely. I just feel like this is very like a brat doll. I don't know. It's cute though. I love it. And the purple is not like too in your face. So it's not like, like flash of purple. It's very like a chill, subtle purple color. So this purse, although it is like that rectangular shape, I feel like it's not huge. It is a mini bag, but I feel like you can put like your necessities in here, lip gloss, keys, ID, and like maybe your phone. 
and I feel like that is all that can fit in here but it's super cute because I love mini bags but I don't like when they're too too small and you literally like can't fit anything in there so I feel like this is the perfect like size mini bag for me personally because I hate when girls have those little bitty like coin purses as mini bags because it's like you know you can't put nothing in there and at that point it don't have no no use to me like i'm not caring if i can't put nothing in there so this is the next bag i really just bought it because of the marble effect um this one i feel like it's not one of my favorites in person just because it does feel really really um cheap i'm sorry i gotta use that word because that's what it feels like like it does feel really really cheap i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's just like like it feels flimsy like it's flimsy it feels cheap the chain is giving me very much cheap but you know what i'm saying for five dollars four or five dollars which is what i paid for this bag you can't complain but i'm just telling y'all that it does feel really really like flimsy and fake and just cheap but you know what i'm saying if you put on the right outfit i think you can make it work i also don't like this bag just because i feel like it was supposed to be like flat at the bottom so i'm gonna have to like forcefully make it flat and i just don't like the fact that it like why is it not why is it not doing what it's supposed to do how the bag looks on i think it's really cute but i think you would have to really like make your style come into play like you know how some people can really wear like walmart but make it look like designer and really like fashionable i feel like you have to do that with this purse so not saying like you have to look expensive but like make your style look expensive so that your bag looks expensive because this bag doesn't really give that off rip you know what i'm saying because it is pretty like yeah so it's cute though it's cute it's a cute little uh marble moment but it's definitely like in my bottom it's not really one of my favorites so next is this little yellow crocodile purse it's the same this one is similar to the purple one but not exactly it does have that problem at the bottom with the lot like the last purse where it's not like square and i just feel like it looks weird when you hold it like this when i feel like it's supposed to like sit you know what i'm saying so i feel like i can't like sit my purse on the table or anything like that because it just looks weird but yeah this is like a mustard yellow crocodile type of purse it also has so it also comes with this and i feel like it's supposed to be a strap but it's really like string like i'm not gonna sugarcoat and i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's like string like where is the the hardware to connect it to the purse like i'm so confused so you wanted me to like tie it. I think they want you to like, to like literally like do like that and tie it on both ends of the bag to make it a crossbody moment. And I just feel like I didn't ask for that. Like I asked for, <laughs> I asked for a crossbody and I feel like, I don't know, like maybe it's so cheap because you wanted me to do the work. Like I'm just, I don't know. So this is not one of my favorites either. I just feel like, the color is cute yeah the crocodile is like okay yeah but i don't know like it's not sitting like it's not it's not square and then this really just like made me mad like i just i don't understand like why you just put a string in my bag like i'm sorry i gotta be blunt about it because it's like i i what is this like seriously <laughs> seriously like this really just made me mad i mean i'm still gonna work it regardless because i can work anything i can rock anything but I just feel like, why Why did you send me that like that? Like, you didn't have to send me that that way. The string really just threw me off. But yeah, so this will be the bag. Um, I just feel like it should be able to sit. But other than that, this, this is the bag. This is the bag. So this bag will probably only be for pictures only because this is not functional to me. I just feel like I can't function in a daily life with a bag like this. So it's not one of my favorites. And since that one just made me mad, I'm going to go ahead and review this one because they're literally the same bag. So I felt like I needed a white purse and I bought this one, which is the same one as the yellow one. It's a white crocodile type of purse. But my concern is this part of white does not match this part of white. And I don't necessarily like that. I just feel like they should match. So it's off. Like this is like a this is like a like a white like pasty white and then this is like a i don't know like a off-white eggshell looking white color so i feel like it's very noticeable in my eyes because i noticed it off rip 
but yeah i mean it's the same as the last bag and again they just put a string in the inside i honestly just feel like they could have put some hardware on the string to attach it to the part where it's supposed to be a cross body bag and i just feel like this was like really lazy of them to just literally like throw the string in there like why'd you throw the string in there like this literally looks like a string from a shoe like you know shoes that like lace up like the heels and stuff this looks like what this is so this is not one of my favorites i'm actually mad about these two purses right now okay so next is this pink bag i do feel like this one is a little childish but i loved it so i went ahead and bought it this is what it looks like and it has like chains on it it has like a butterfly chain and a regular chain so i do think this is something that i probably owned when i was like you know five or six playing with purses and little heels and stuff and dress up clothes but i really do like it i like it a lot um i think it's cute when you have like a certain outfit on and then you throw it on as a statement piece and it's like a little shoulder bag so it's really giving me like y2k vibes you know back in the day vibes brat vibes barbie vibes all the vibes but I do feel like it's 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 a little bit childish, but you know, it's okay. I'm I'm childish, so it's fine. So yeah, um, it's nothing really too much going on, on the inside. It's kind of just like basic, bare minimum, but it's really spacious, so I feel like you can put a little more than the necessities in here. So I think this is a really good like size bag. I feel like the chains are cute. I think it gives it a little bit more of like a pizzazz, like a little bit razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep the chains on there, but yeah, I just think this was cute for like a little statement piece as far as, you know, Instagram pictures and stuff like that. So I definitely like this purse. Um, it probably won't be worn too, too often just because it really is like bright pink, but I do really, really like it. So this is the next bag and I feel like, um, these are kind of trending everywhere and I feel like Bottega was the one that had it first, like this style of bag. But you know, obviously I'm not trying to spend Bottega type of money right now. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I went on Shein and I found this bag because I felt like it was going to be cute for a certain outfit I had or whatever. But yeah, I thought it was cute. And I've been seeing these little bags everywhere, but they've been so overpriced. So I got it from Shein and I think I paid like $9 to $11 for it. I think it's cute. Obviously the hardware is a little cheap, like it's a little flimsy you know what i'm saying it's just like thrown on there but i really think this is a cute little raunched bag it is really small so i feel like only the necessities can fit in there but let's go ahead and open it again they gave me a string i feel like it's not even necessary with this bag i'm trying to figure out how did they even think that this bag was going to be a crossbody because there's nowhere to like really put it other than like here i guess I think this is what they thought. So maybe like this with the chain in front and then crossbody action. But I just feel like this wasn't necessary. So we're just gonna discard that. But yeah, this bag is really cute. Just for like certain outfits, certain dresses. I could see this with like dinner. Like you could dress this up with like a cute dress for dinner and this would be really cute. So yeah, I really like this bag. This is cute. I give it like an eight, you know what I'm saying? It could be a little better as far as hardware, but again, like, you're gonna get what you give so i think it's cute for the purpose of what i bought it for i only bought one hat so far so i only have one hat in this haul and this is this like blue bucket hat i'm not even sure why i bought this it was a reason like i put it in my cart for a reason but i forgot what the reason was so yeah this is the hat i feel like it's cute you know what i'm saying it's very much summertime honestly feel like i can wear the blue glasses with this and like you know make a look with like a white um, crop top and like some shorts and you know, really just thug it out. But I really think this is cute. I might order some more bucket hats. It was really affordable. And I just think bucket hats are so cute for the summer. Like it's a look, but yeah, this is the bucket hat I got. It's just kind of like a um, blue, like tie dye type of vibe going on. And it actually fit my head. It's not too big and not too small. It's like just right for my head, so that's a good sign the next accessory i got is some scrunchies i've just been like obsessed with scrunchies lately and i don't have um satin ones i have like velvet ones so i got this set of um like satin scrunchies and they're super cute i just did like the neutral colors so these are like browns and like nudes and stuff so i thought these were really really cute lastly on my accessories haul i have some 
contact cases. I wear contacts and I just saw this and I was like, that is an absolute need. So I'm just gonna show you one. I have a black one and I have a pink one. And it's a case. It has a mirror, which is awesome. It has the um, contact like left and right where you put your contacts in there. It has these little tools to like put in your contacts. Like this is like a little tweezer thing. And this is that little um, suction thing that you can like pick up the contact and like stick it on your eye. I use my hands, but this is in there too. And then this is for your solution. Like if you need some travel size solution, they put a little bottle in there. I just feel like this is really convenient, really cute, really convenient. And it's very small, like it's very compact. So you can put it in your purse. Or, you know what I'm saying, if you're going out of town or traveling, you can put it in there too. So I bought this. It was literally like $2 and you get two, like two for the price of one. Okay, guys, so this wraps up my Sheen Accessories haul. Um, I did pretty much like everything that I bought except those two purses. And, you know, the purses with the strings really just threw me off. But overall, I really i am satisfied with my order. I'm satisfied with my purchase. I like a lot of these things and I'm really excited to like buy their clothes and do a sheen clothing haul i hope you guys like this video if you guys are ready for a sheen clothing haul please let me know down in the comments so yeah i highly recommend you guys shop on sheen sheen however you want to say it i highly recommend i think they you know what i'm saying have some faults here and there but overall i think their products are really really good if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you comment down below subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn that post notification bell on so the next time that I drop a video. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can see me slay and all of my Sheen products. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys.